Hi, Roger from Changing the View. If you've been following our adventures, you know that we've had an ongoing issue now for about six weeks, I guess. Um, long story short, freshwater tank is filling while I'm connected to city water. Well, through much research, lots of, uh, lots of time spent on YouTube and in RV forums and talking to people one-on-one -on -one in person about my problem, many, many suggestions. Thank you for those. Um, however, nothing has worked for us so far. At our last location a couple weeks ago, we were in uh, Auburn, Alabama, and I went so far as to find the line going through the freshwater tank and just to install a shutoff valve so that I could continue to be connected to city water uh, without the freshwater tank filling constantly. So that problem solved there. Um, however, uh, when I want to use the freshwater tank, I've got to turn that valve on, which in many cases may not be a problem at all, but for me it's quite the inconvenience. You see, I would have to empty the storage compartment down here and I know you can't see back here but I would have to remove this panel to get into the shutoff valve to open it up to use the fresh water tank. Bit of an inconvenience. Now fortunately for us we don't use the fresh water tank very often. We don't do a lot of dry camping. Do occasionally when we need to. Um, and when we have those freezing nights where I'm unable to use my uh, heated water hose of course, I want to be able to fill my fresh water tank uh, for those situations as well. So, special shout out now to Jones Into Travel, uh, some YouTube friends of ours, some RVers. He actually gave me this idea to try to see if this uh, fixes my problem. So, shout out to him. This is where I got this, uh, this idea. So, this is the part we'll be changing out right here. And... I ordered this from Anderson Brass Company. Again, I got that uh, website from Jones and to Travel. And this cartridge goes right here behind this selector switch. You were going to remove this screw here, which takes the handle off. There's a little Allen set screw on this brass fitting. And you just push that in a turn and that comes out and there's a little uh, washer and a spring that you remove we're going to screw the handle back on so that we can pull the old cartridge out and we're going to attach this new cartridge to the handle push it back in and reassemble uh, this selector switch So replacing this part is pretty quick, pretty easy. If you are apprehensive about that, um, it comes with very detailed instructions when you order the part. When you order this part from Anderson Brass, uh, it will come packaged. This will be pre-lubed. It'll come with an Allen wrench and a screw. And again, very detailed instruction. So shouldn't have any problems uh, attempting to change that out on your own if you so desire. So hopefully that fixed our problem. Uh, the only way to know for sure is for me to go in here and open that shutoff valve that I installed going to the freshwater tank and see if the freshwater tank fills. If it doesn't, we're good to go.